conventional farmer sprays his plants with pesticides. Now, the European supermarkets want farmers to find a solution not using pesticides. So what we do is we find an insect that's going to eat the pest. Okay, you've got about 400 wasps. Look at this, okay? <laughs> Most of our products actually exist in nature. The trick is, is we get it to the farmer in good shape and so that he can use it. We, we produce these for pollination. Okay. If you're growing, especially in net houses, we do in Israel or in greenhouses, you have to pollinate. Our bees do almost 100% pollination. We're in the date plantation. Look in the middle, you see this like this pod? Okay, it's full of pollen. And what we have to do this time of year is we're pollinating. We, behind me, I'm not gonna get too close, you see there's a box number six behind us, okay? Who knows what that box is for? Uh, now box. <coughs> box, that's right, here we go. Common barn owl, okay? Rodents do a huge amount of damage in the food cycle, okay? Whether it's in the fields or it's in the warehouses. University of Tel Aviv came up with this great idea in 1968-69. They, they brought us some barn owls, okay? And they, the idea is to release the barn owls, and the barn owls are gonna work with nature. They're gonna help control the rodent population. So they came, it was a big ceremony, they opened the cages, barn owls came out, took off, and we never saw them again. That was the end of the story. One of our members who worked in the vineyard, he noticed every year, this barn owl, she nested in the rafters. So the following season, he puts a square box up there, and sure enough, she nested. So we call Tel Aviv University back, Dr. Yossi Lesham, and say, Yossi, we have this idea. Maybe if we provide habitat, it'll do something. The barn owl projects, we give them a nice place to live, and they help control the rodent population. But we know we have a large population of kestrels who hunt during the day. We have a large population of owls who hunt during the night. We have virtually no damage to our crop in the, in the valley or in this part of the valley from rodents, okay, which is really a revolution. So again, working with nature instead of against nature.